to illustrate how prices are determined in a market, we'll take our good old fried chicken example and compare the market demand and market supply. In the first column, we have the different prices for fried chicken. In the second column, the quantity demanded at those different prices. And in the third column, the quantity supplied. Now, somewhere in this table, we'll find our dream position, a point where the quantity demanded is equal to the quantity supplied. It's clearly not at a price of seven rand. There, the market demand is 1,200 pieces, but the quantity supplied is 4,800. It's also not at two rand, where demand is 4,200 pieces and the quantity supplied only 1,800. But at a price of four rand, the quantity demanded is 3,000 pieces and the quantity supplied is also 3,000 pieces. Yes, at a price of four rands, the quantity demanded is equal to the quantity supplied. And this position is known as market equilibrium. In this case, the equilibrium price is four rand, and the equilibrium quantity demanded and supplied is 3,000. This market equilibrium position indicates that no market participant has any reason to change his or her behaviour. Buyers and sellers are happy to trade at that price, and there are no further pressures on prices and quantities in the market to change. The plans of the buyers exactly match the plans of the sellers. At any other price, the market is in disequilibrium, meaning that some of the market participants are frustrated in their plans and will change their behaviour. Pressure on the market to change exists when it is out of equilibrium. 